protesters back on the streets of the Thai capital. The ruling party pushed a controversial amnesty bill through the lower house of parliament Friday, a move that the opposition fears could herald the return from exile of ousted ex-prime minister Thaksin Shinawat. Critics say it would also whitewash abuses during several waves of political unrest in recent years including the killing of dozens of unarmed protesters in Bangkok three years ago. They come back and betray the country again. When they cheat, they can just issue a law like this one for themselves so as not to be found guilty. I can't accept this. The amnesty bill still needs the approval of the Senate and could face further challenges from the opposition Democrat party, which has vowed to keep up the pressure on the streets and through the courts. The Democrats linked the Thai establishment and Bangkok elite and their yellow shirt protest allies have been a force to be reckoned with in the past, with protests that helped topple Taksin and two allied governments. But in recent years, they've struggled to galvanize large numbers of supporters, emboldening Taksin, who lives overseas to avoid a jail term for corruption, but whose sister Yingluck is now prime minister. He may be in for more difficulty than he's, he's bargained for, because the issue of his return, which is what this is about, I think, it's much more inflammatory uh, than anything else. You know, there's lots of people who are absolutely so committed against this man and are absolutely dead set against his return that this will create much more emotion than just any other issue about amnesty and what happened in the past. It's him. Taksin, who was ousted in a military coup in 2006, remains a deeply divisive figure in Thailand, loathed by many in the country's elite and middle class and loved by the mainly rural working class. But the amnesty has even angered many of Taksin's traditional red shirt supporters. They fear officials would go unpunished for a bloody military crackdown on their mass protests in 2010 that left more than 90 people dead. I believe that the people who killed know what they did. Today those sins are attached to them. The guilt will live in their memories. Believe me, I think that they still cannot sleep. But the country needs to move forward. The ruling party insists it is drawing a line under the bloody political turmoil that's periodically rocked Thailand in recent years. The fear on the streets is that it could create a new wave of tensions.